Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today we are going to learn a very very important um, feature of Angular which is ng content. Often if you are building a really an enterprise application, chances are that you would write a lot of reusable components. ng content plays a very very important role when you are building such reusable scalable components. The whole idea is that we should be able to send data dynamically into the child component at runtime based on certain conditions or in a particular slot. That strategy in Angular is called as content projection. We will learn all about different aspects of using ng content, uh, what are the different types, how do we use them with a lot of use cases and hands-on examples. Let's get started. This is part 81 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned more than 100 tutorials in this series. Right now we are on eight, episode number 81. Before I get started, I'll request you please do share these videos and playlist with your friends and colleagues um, uh, so that it can reach and help them also. Also, if you like my work, please do subscribe to my channel and please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you in advance. Following are the topics from ground zero, from basic, from scratch. I have covered this particular series into the most detailed uh, use cases and functionality and features of Angular, uh, making it one of the most solid uh, playlist on YouTube. Make sure you check out if all the tu tutorials so that you can really master Angular. Today we are learning about ng content that is content projection. So what is content projection? Content projection is a pattern in which you insert or project the content you want to use inside another component. So in simple words, if I have to tell you, content projection is nothing but you send the content to another component. It can be any component. Some people confuse that it has to be parent-child relationship. No, absolutely not. It can be any other component inside any module as long as it's properly imported and exported in that particular module. For example, if you have a card, right? Now talk about complex enterprise applications where you build, you don't really build component for each thing, right? Let's say you have a card component. You want to project some data every time you want to send that data. So you should be able to create that card in a way that it can accept the content dynamically, right? I'm going to cover that example and show you how it works. To make use of content projection, we use something called ng content element, right? Using ng content, we use and project the content into another component. There are three ways to use content projection. Make sure that friends, you understand this topic and watch the all the use cases because this is one of the topic they definitely ask in interviews also. So, and mostly if you work in any real time project, you will see this ng hyphen content. So if after this episode, you will be able to master it and understand that code also. So let's see, there are three ways to use content projection. One is single slot. That means whatever content you send will go into a particular slot or a, a, a slot is nothing but think of it like a DIV, right? Or a container. Multi-slot means you can send multiple set of content. Conditional slot means based on certain conditions, the data will be rendered. So remember these three, I'm going to do the hands on now and make it even more clear to you. All right. Hope the theory is clear. Hope the definitions are clear. Now let's go to the hands on section. All right. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and create a new component and I'm going to call it content projection. Okay. Just an example component inside admin app. You can create this component anywhere you want. So I'm calling this component name as content hyphen projection. Okay. So you can see that component here. All right. So far so good, clear. And now I'm going to just fire up my application ng serve. So far so good. Now let's just see this that it's included in the app module content projection is here. Right. So the component is declared in the declarations I have added that component automatically since it's the part of the CLI. Now inside the app component I'm going to use it here and I'm going to say app content projection. 
okay so what is the expected output we did not change anything now right we are just including the component inside the app component so by default the HTML will have something like content projection works right so when you include that component inside this we will see that message right so let's see that output let's go to so you see here it says content projection works all right so so far so good I'm going to just move it down so that it doesn't affect our other code so we can see here it says content projection works perfect now I want to send some content into this particular another component right that's what is content projection so how do you do that so the first thing I told you is single slot first include ng content right so now I've added a empty tag so what it this means is that whenever content is sent it will come and be placed inside this these two tags okay and how do we send data simply by adding this this is from the app component okay this uh, say sentence this or uh, this content is from app component so now this data will directly go inside ng content that is called content projection now you see here this content is from app component and if you see inspect element and go one line further it is inside the app component see here app content projection it is inside this that means it went inside the ng content right so this is the single slot but that means whatever data we sent here will automatically come and go inside ng content that is number one example number one which is single slot that's what I just showed you single slot you send the data it goes inside the the components ng content element now let me show you the other way let's say I want to send certain specific data into certain specific content ng content so what I will do let's say I'm going to this is a, a selected content for say roles okay and here we will add role okay here we will add role and here we will add one more ng content and here we will give the selector there is an attribute called selector now what does it do it will say that whenever your data is coming right so you would write select equal to now here you will bind it with the same one that you gave what was it now let's check it again was it role yes it is role and here we are saying role now you see here this is selected content for roles now if you open this and this would be for the role you see here this paragraph here it is having role right so this is adding a paragraph which is from the role right so this is called multi slot that means now it has two ng content if you see here we are sending two content this is multi content this will go into the ng component first ng component this will go into the multi slot because of this name selected here right similarly you can have any number of ng contents in a particular component and you can have different selects like there for example for admin you want to show something for role for agent or whatever it is right so you get the concept that you can have multiple ng contents and you can project certain data inside it that is what is called multi component right M multiple slot content projection now the third one which is conditional slot very very important when you're building an enterprise level application so let's see all about it so now what I'm going to do is I'm saying based on certain condition the content should be projected right let's see how that works this is little tricky so stay with me pay clear attention here now this is the multi slot right so now I'm doing the conditional slot content projection for that we will use ng template okay and here we are going to say let's say um, here I'm going to say admin so here I'm saying whenever there is ng um, the if condition is admin then you say this is for admin 
content okay now where will this be projected will it be displayed anywhere let's see is it displayed anywhere no why because it does not know where to send this yet we have not defined that right so let's go to our child component let's go to the component class here we need to do some work first and the work is we need to create a content child first content child okay here we are saying the content let's say by the name content or in our case we are saying admin okay and then we are going to say admin template and then we are going to do a template ref here okay and template ref is what for now we will say any that's fine right so here I'm saying content child when we I will send it as admin and I'm saying uh, defining a variable admin template which is of type template reference so now I'll go to my HTML now here we will just simply pass it as a template right now to do that that is pretty simple we can just put it div jf is equal to now here I will say admin template which is what we defined as a variable and then we will say template and we will do use something called ng template outlet now what we are essentially saying here is whenever there is data in admin template just pass it along and it would come inside this particular template okay so whenever there is admin template the content will be projected inside the template this particular empty template slot let's see it again one more time I know this is little confusing so stay with me let's go I'll go one by one here I'm creating a content child by the name admin all right so now what admin does is simply saying that if the data is passed as ng template then use it else we cannot right so this should be the same name as you pass it here see I'm passing admin here hash admin the same name should be defined here in content child and I'm saying that's an variable admin template which is of type template ref let's see it now you see this this is for admin content now see it here and here you will see this is div which is coming from template outlet which is of admin right so this template is nothing but the admin template right so based on a certain condition and what is the condition it is hash admin right so now anywhere throughout this application I can use this and it will always go into this particular child project I can use this for this child content projection go through this it's the third one is little tricky for beginners but I would say pause it here go back check everything that I did the common mistakes that people do they give here different name and they give different name here let me show you that let's say I'm going to say admin one two three now you think it will work no it will not see here the admin message did not come why because it is looking for admin not admin one two three now it will be back here this is for admin content right so this name and this name should be same in the content child this is a template ref in the template ref you're just putting a if condition and giving the output inside the template right so this is called the conditional slot okay for content projection absolutely important these topics are extremely important if you really want to work in an enterprise application you would see a lot of this date uh, such coding and you should be able to read and understand this code give it a try let me know if you face any issues drop them in the comments i'll take a look and try to help you as much as i can thank you so much for joining i hope you find it useful please do subscribe to my channel in the next episode i'm going to cover about view child and after that we will do view children and then we will start with some custom pipes custom directives very very important topics and last we will start with angular testing very very soon we will go over and do a master class for testing and make you an expert in unit tests. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash rtutorials. Thank you so much.
see you in the next episode